Uh, now there is a story, I guess that probably comes in my next article, about a large investor who actually changed their mind. Tesla stock skyrocketed about 740% in 2020, has climbed already 16% this year. This year I'm talking about 2021, mm. which is like, what, five days old at this point? Good lord. Anyway, he's shorting. You can, you can decide. You go with him. You go with Tesla. I don't think people are buying Tesla like a regular stock. Mm. I, that's the thing. I think it's they're buying it in a similar fashion to how they're buying Bitcoin. They're buying a future that they can't even predict, but they're betting on other people to predict it for them. Yes. Yeah. It's... Literal hype train. But not really, though. Not fully. Not Tesla's fully delivering. There is a product there. Okay, here's the next. Here, this is the next article over here. The complete opposite of the last one. Do you remember this guy we were talking about yesterday? Chamath, Chamath. Yeah. Palahap. Uh, Palahap. <laughs> I gotta get this right because I okay. have a long last name too. So I, I totally understand. Palahap. Palahapatia. 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 Sure. We can go with that. Palahapatia. Chamath Palahapatia says, he says the opposite. He says Tesla stock could triple from current levels, making Elon Musk the world's first trillionaire. Mm. Imagine that from day to day, from article to article, article, article to article on the same day, you, get, you have to read these two things as a human being on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. You're a person. You're trying to navigate. You got this guy saying it's the biggest bubble he ever saw. Next guy saying, "Get in now, it's only going up," and they're both. And this, they're, I don't know if the other guy's a billionaire. This guy's a billionaire himself. But then at the same time, myself, I say, "Well, this guy's obviously got some Tesla stock, uh -huh. so it benefits him personally, yes. likely, uh, for that to happen." But either way, he doesn't have to share information with anyone. He's obviously making money mm -hmm. and has been successful. So you take that for what it is. The billionaire investor told CNBC on Thursday that Tesla's stock could be worth three times its current valuation. He said Tesla was a distributed energy business and that he believed for a while the world's first trillionaire would be a person fighting climate change, delivering clean energy, allowing the world to be sustainable. Now, I know there are complexities, difficulties with battery technology and mining, and it's not, maybe it's cleaner. I don't know that it's completely clean. He told investors, don't sell a share of Tesla. You keep every single one because we're going all the way to the moon, making Elon Musk a trillionaire in the meantime. So, by the way, as far as Musk's wealth is concerned, previous episode, he became the richest man on planet Earth. 20%, he owns 20% of Tesla. So when you look at that market capitalization, just chop out a quick 20 for him. Yeah. All right. And he also owns 48% of SpaceX, and they're figuring out ways to make money with satellites delivering the internet. So you tell me. But when you start to look at it as an energy business and you start to think about their potential on some of the stuff that they haven't had a chance to fully flesh out yet. I know I tweeted, Elon, about the solar roof. I want to get that roof, and I don't know what's happening with Canada, and it seems like it's sort of a wait, a wait and see at this moment. But when you think about it in those terms, if... If we can start to get a better ecosystem around this variety of services, you think about the charge infrastructure that they have going on for the cars. Then you think about the home battery and the, and the, the solar roof, which is, I mean, look at, take a look at it. It's a great time. Looks amazing. Three times stronger than standard tiles. Beautiful solar without compromise. I understand in certain regions it's been difficult to get your hands on this stuff, but you can imagine you paint this picture, you put it the whole way through, Will. And it's like, yeah, maybe they are, maybe there is more to that company and their, and their aspirations and how they plan on doing this thing top to bottom. What do you think? I mean, when I think of Elon, it, the, some keywords that really like come up is future and like tech centric, <laughs> like even like the boring company. And I was reading an article. You're about a big boring guy. <laughs> very, very. Um, like open AI, um, working on AI systems. Very cool. Mm. Very, very cool. Mm. That and type Neuralink, of, like, come that on. type of thing attracts people. There's a certain charisma there. There's a certain magnetic attraction to people's money. And 
that's the part of it that appears unstoppable right now. By the yeah. way, the other investor I was looking for was RBC. They have been a longtime Tesla bear, and they have recently upgraded Tesla to sector perform from underperform. They increased their stock price target from what was previously at $339. That was their target, what they thought, where they thought it was going to level out. Hmm. They upgraded that to $700. And here's a quote from RBC. There's no graceful way to put this other than to say we got Tesla's stock completely wrong. So it's becoming tougher, man, to make these calls as the thing keeps skyrocketing. And as you can see, there's you can get whichever take you want to get. You can go find it. Buy, sell, bubble, hype, future, crash. You pick. Choose your own adventure. Yeah.